So what is going on guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. Now in today's video, what we're gonna go do is go ahead and hit some local thrift stores. You might have heard of the online way that you can make money selling on eBay by becoming a reseller. Now for me, this was something that I did in college as well as a side hustle that I incorporate in my life. But I wanna show you guys, walk you guys through what you can do to start making money going to thrift stores, buying, locating used items, and then flipping them on eBay for a profit. So don't go anywhere guys. I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how much money we make today so let's go see what we find. Let's go get it. So guys, probably the most important part of this process of making money reselling is to go ahead and locate your thrift stores. This is where you're going to find your inventory to go ahead and buy and resell to make money on eBay. So go ahead, go right through Google Maps, search thrift stores, and then go locate one. And then overall, let's go ahead and pick one that you want to go to. As well as what I'm looking for is a second hand thrift. All right, guys, so we found the thrift that we're going to. It's about 26 minutes away. Good thing the thrift store opens up at 9 o'clock. So we'll get there right around the time to go ahead and make some money. So let's go see what we can find. Time to go drive. So check it out guys, we have made it to the second Ave Value Village right here. We're gonna walk in here, see what we can pull out and see what we can find. So guys, here we are starting off our thrift journey in the men's jacket section. This seems to be the most profitable area to start thrifting in, so let's give this a shot. I'm just looking for things that are going to catch my eye as well as brands that I know. And here's the first item that I stumbled upon. This L.L. Beam little main parka jacket for $25 looked interesting, so I figured let's look it up and let's see how much we can make off this item. So what we're doing here is checking out to see how much this jacket is going to sell for. Should I pick it up for $25? So through the eBay app, the seller app, we're going to see when these items recently sold. As you can see, this item is selling similar. Um, we're going to make sure we do this, which is very important. Make sure that the sold as and completed items are on. This is going to make sure that you're looking at things that have recently sold. This jacket that's similar sold for $200, $199, but it wasn't the same color, so I kept looking down to see something similar. A similar Parker was selling for around $115. So a great find, and we're going to continue to repeat this process over and over again. We continue to stumble upon a few other jackets in the thrift. So here is the second item of the day. You all have probably seen this brand before, Champion, but this is a sick little fleece. Um, vintage style one half zip that I picked up for eight dollars so we're gonna see here is how much it's selling for a men's XXL so I found something similar but couldn't find the exact item but I was doing this for just seeing what the comps were on this item twenty nine dollars around forty five dollars for a similar vintage flea so I figured hey it's a good pickup let's buy it this is me live in the thrift store when I find something that I might be interested in now I don't know if it's gonna sell or not so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I was doing to see if something's worth its value if I should pick it up and then flip it on eBay so right in the seller eBay app we're gonna check out the listing or the name of the item Callaway men's one four zip pullover and then we're gonna hit filter we're gonna scroll all the way down to sold as completed items and we're gonna see if we can find a similar item that we're looking at and see if we can find it what it's selling for now for this I couldn't find anything very similar and more importantly it wasn't really selling very recently, so I had to not buy this item, but it's what I do every time I find something. Now for me, right here is a Foot Joy, a great golf brand that I love to pick up, and I found it here for $6.99, and it's selling for around $41, and also yellow tags today were 33% off, so it was almost like a no-brainer. Foot Joy, F Joy, a sick nylon. There's a little stain right there, but I think I can get it out when I get home, but a great opportunity there. So here we are, we're switching it up. We're going to go to the miscellaneous section of the thrift store. You never know what you can find here. For example, like this little bag that I thought was super chill, super neat, but there was no value behind it. So I was, hey, let's leave it on the shelf. But check this out. This weird item here, this rigid air filter for a shop vac, was selling for quite some profit here. Well, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, there was no price on this, unfortunately. So I tried to negotiate with someone there. They wouldn't sell it to me. But I want to show you guys that you can find a lot of weird things that are going to make you money. For example, I'd probably pick it up for 3 to $4. And it's selling for around $27.99. And it's selling very consistently on eBay so a great item that I would pick up and sell on my eBay store now we are looking into the shoe section the shoes check this out Sanooks let's go baby you probably wore these before these are hype everyone wears Sanooks and you can pick them up for $10 in the thrift store 
Now I found them at a pretty relatively cheap cost, but there's sometimes these don't sell that well on eBay. So I want to make sure I want to do my due diligence to see how much you're going to make me all from this great find. Unfortunately, these guys were not selling on eBay very often. So I went ahead and checked them out on Amazon. I figured these new items would sell better on Amazon. So let's go check out their retail value. Some of them are selling for $47, $57. So what I did is I looked up and found the item closely to the one that I had in my shopping cart, made sure that I had the correct size, size 12. And as you can see, they're selling for around $47. And any soccer fans, anybody that knows soccer, Sambas are pretty hot. The Sambas on eBay were selling for $60. So I figured, how much am I going to buy these for? $15. $14.99, an absolute amazing score. Great way to make profit selling shoes off the Sambas, off the Sanooks. Great day just finding shoes back to back in the thrift. Very profitable way to make money in the thrift. And things ended up getting even better. These are the lacrosse men's rubber boots that I picked up right after finding those Sambas. An incredible find. As you can see, they're selling for $87.50. Having a lot of traction, a lot of viewers, people are interested in this item. I'm going to pick them up for $10. And they're even selling for $100 on eBay as well. So a great way to end my little thrift journey. As you can see, the cart is full. We had an amazing day at this one thrift, but it's time to hit another one. So guys, we we're finally back at the truck and it was an absolutely incredible trip in the thrift store. We spent a little over two and a half hours in that one thrift, but I think we probably pulled around two to $300 profit out of that thrift store. Now when we get back to my house, I'm gonna go break down each item, explain how much each is gonna make me. But what I did basically was go through there, every section, the clothing section, going through technology, the men's, the women's, whatever I could find, and I was searching every item that looked appealing for me. Now, what I was looking for was men's or women's vintage, rugged, old, nostalgic brands that are still really attractive on eBay that people are going to pay for. Secondly, it was really popular brands, brands that people know of, Champion, Vineyard Vines, you saw some Patagonian I found in there as well. And then I was going through the technology, things that I could resell. Now, from a air filter all the way to a drum pad, there were so many new items that had the potential to sell, to flip, to make a quick dollar on eBay or at Amazon. So guys, what I was doing is just going and using my phone, using the eBay analytics. And this hide hustle, this ability to go into any thrift store and make money is absolutely incredible. I think anybody can do this. You can make two to $300 depending on the thrift store that you can go into. It's an absolute great side hustle that you can begin starting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head and get some lunch and then we're gonna meet me back at my house. We might stop at another thrift. I'm not sure yet guys, but I'm absolutely stoked. Um, and it's time to get some food in me, get some protein, and then we're gonna probably go to another thrift and see if we can pull out and make more money all right y'all so i was kidding about the food we're gonna see if we can do this again because i just realized that there's a thrift store right next to the one that i was just at so we're gonna go over and head to this guy here it's called the red white and blue thrift store i hope this one pays me well i hope it's gonna make me some money we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the last thrift the problem was i've never been here before so let's see what it's about and let's see if we can make some money let's get it so guys check this out we stumbled upon some patagonia baby in the thrift store for 34 dollars i was contemplating should i buy this or not it was a better sweater it's only selling for around 42 to 50 dollars there was no profit in this item but here it's in the thrift store just to give you guys a little bit of proof and then we stumbled upon this vintage tommy hillfiger check this guy out super sick little fleece guy they're selling it for seven dollars but i want to check the comps on this item I think it was very appealing and I think someone's going to be interested. So let's check out see how much we can sell it for. As you can see, one similar sold for $60 off of $7. So an absolutely great profit off this item. Now check this out. This has to be by far the best find of the day and kind of made my whole thrift journey very successful. Now this is a sick Coors Light bag. We're going to pick it up for $29. Absolutely gorgeous. I might keep this for myself. I might sell it, but let's check out how much it's selling for in a second here. Just a beautiful bag, and I know someone's going to be interested in this. So we're going to go over to the eBay seller app. We're going to search it up, and you can see someone bought this, and it sold for $200. There's one listed for $250 on eBay. $150 depends on the bag, but an absolutely incredible find. <sighs> So guys, we just left out of that thrift store. Absolutely incredible. As you can see, we pulled the golf bag, a lot more clothes, and more importantly, I just wanna reflect on the power of making money in these thrift stores. Now, this is not all it is. I have to go home, list these items, clean them up, probably wash them, take pictures, which is another job in itself. But basically, there was so much opportunity. This thrift store here, I'd never been to it before, but it was absolute killer. I found so many good clothes, as well as that golf bag. It's probably gonna make me 100 to $200, depending on when I go ahead and look this up. I also picked up a few things that I didn't record. So guys, stick with me here. 
here. We're gonna go home. We're eventually gonna set up the little mic. We're gonna have everything ready to go. We're gonna break down each item. And I'll show sure you guys how much I made today, basically going to the thrift stores, buying things at a low cost, and then what I'm gonna do is go flip them on eBay for profit. The thrift stores are loaded, guys. Please use this video as an opportunity for you to go ahead and start making money. Um, but I'll see you guys probably when we eat. Let's go get some Chipotle, and I'll see you guys back at the office. Let's get it. So guys, we made it back from the thrift store, an absolutely incredible trip, and more importantly guys, I just want to say that you can make a lot of money going to the thrift stores. This theory of buying things and then reselling them on eBay, Amazon is a great way for anyone to begin making money. Now I ended my thrift store journey finding that incredible Coors Light bag, which is an absolute banger of a find. I posted on my Instagram story and people are already offering to pay for it and buy it for me right now. I picked up for $30 and on Amazon and on eBay as well, it's selling for around $200 to $250, so incredible pickup, probably the best score of the night but guys I want to break through exactly how much I think I made from this trip honestly off the top of my head around four to five hundred dollars so I'm gonna break down some of the fines that I have also I hope I gave you guys clarity and also showed you what I'm doing in the thrift store from looking up the items how you can go ahead and see if something's gonna sell or not and then picking up buying it and then go ahead and list it up on eBay now this is just the beginning of the journey of course after this video I have to go ahead and start listing these things get them posted in order to make money but having the correct inventory is very important for you to make money on eBay selling and becoming a so the first thing I want to break down, guys, is the boots that I found. The shoes in itself made around two hundred dollars. So these lacrosse hunting boots, these rubber boots, I picked them up for let's see, was it ten bucks here? And they're selling for around eighty to one hundred dollars. So an absolute great score, around sixty to seventy to eighty dollar profit on these items. Depend what I list them for, but just here alone, um, a great find. Keep an eye out for these Lacoste. Um, any hunting boots typically do well. And then here we are with the new Sanooks. Anybody to rock the Sanooks because Sanooks are great shoes. I picked these up for ten dollars. Um, off the top of my head. Don't quote me on this, but I think they were going for around 24 or even 40 some dollars in that range. I'll have to kind of look at them again. I might sell these on Amazon as new, but I'm probably going to sell them right on eBay as well. So another quick little 20 to 30 dollar profit, all from Sanooks. Thank you so much. Great find as well. And then Kind of to top it off here was these Sambas that I found. I picked them up for $15. Now, typically, I might not buy these if they're that expensive, but these are going for around $60, and the customer paid shipping. And I think the pair that I looked up sold about two to three days ago. So a great profitable item um, from $14 to $60, around $50 profit. So $50 plus a $40 profit, that's $90. And hopefully around $100 to $80 profit off the boots itself. So a great, great score. Keep an eye out for the shoes. Um, I'm going to continue to look out for them. And then I want to break down a little of the clothes that I found. Um, this was a great find. The first thing that I found in the thrift was this L.L. Bean Goose Downs Parka. Now, for me, L.L. Bean's a great brand. But the thing is, the Goose did it for me. The Goose line is what people want. Um, and I picked it up for a little bit more than $24.99. Um, great steal, I think, because it was selling for around $75 to $100 on ebay i looked it up i was like hey let's pick this up it's going to sell winter is kind of coming to an end but people are still going to want these vintage nostalgic brands now ll beam is a great brand um, a lot of things are usually overpriced or not worth its value but this brand here the way it's made the style and how it fits gave me the proof that hey it's going to sell it was selling on ebay so i figured i'd pick it up for 25 and flip it for around 175 um dollar profit so great great find here thank you ll beam and then i picked up a little chelsea jersey for myself picked up a few things for my because hey it's hard not to treat yourself when you're in the thrift store you make a little bit of money you got to treat yourself right uh, and then uh, here's a little little another little opportunity that I found here was this foot joy for seven dollars this in itself is gonna sell for around forty dollars thirty five dollars um, I also had 33 percent off on this item so a great find as well so just right there with the shoes around 120 150 dollar profit with a few items of clothing as well as more bags and then the then the golf bag which is going to sell around for 200 to 250 dollar profit which is incredible we're sitting around 450 um, and close to 500 dollars profit just on these items um, all from reselling so absolutely incredible and super stoked and here's a little champion um, pullover that I got. Um, this is a vintage champion. Keep your eye out. This is um, an embroidered right here. But you can tell by the tag as well as you can just tell by the material and the way that they're not making these anymore. This shows that it's vintage as well on the back here. Um, so I picked this up for $8 as well. I think if I can sell it for around $30 to $40 um, simply. And then I got some shirts for myself. And then we picked up some more other stuff. Foot Joy. And then I ended up buying this Tommy Hilfiger. I think it's a great little retro Tommy Hilfiger. Paid seven for it. But I think it's going to sell for around 40 to 30 some dollars. Um, so great finds. And then a few other clothing items as well, guys. So an incredible journey at the thrift store, guys. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to comment, subscribe, and also give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Is
as well as I've had so much fun. So I'm going to continue to hit the thrift, show you guys how you can make money going to thrift stores. There's absolutely so much opportunity out there. I believe anybody going to any thrift with this video, with this understanding of what to look for, use the eBay analytics, check these items before you buy them, and you have the proof to see if it's going to sell or not. And if it's going to sell and make you money, then you pick it up, take it home, get to go home and do a little bit of grunt work, taking the pictures, go ahead listing it and dealing with the customers, shipping it out. But once you have the inventory, you are good to go and you're going to start making money on eBay. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you again in tomorrow's video. Y'all enjoy this video. Y'all enjoy your day. Love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Peace out.